Hello everyone, I am Li Kai. In this demo, I'm going to show how to migrate database and tables from a self-created MySQL database to the RDS for MySQL on Alibaba Cloud. The MySQL database in this demo is installed on a virtual machine on Azure. And uh, the virtual machine has already connected to a VPC on Alibaba Cloud through an IPsec VPN. The whole migration process will have four steps. One, configure the self-built MySQL database server. The second one, I will configure the VPN to allow the DTS server to access the MySQL database. The third step is, uh, is to create RDS instance on Alibaba Cloud. And the fourth step is to uh, create the migration task and uh, execute the migration. First of all, let's configure the MySQL database server. I already logged in the my uh, the server let's uh, log into my circle first let's first create an account for data migration the user can log on from all hosts So I create a user called migration admin and the password is password. Then I will grant full privileges to this account. Okay, let's check the privileges. Okay, this uh, this user account has already been uh, successfully created. Okay, let's try to access this uh, database using this account from from my local local desktop. This is a public IP address uh, of this virtual machine. So I just use it to test whether this account is working. Yeah, it works. Okay, next. Uh, let's enable the binary logging for the MySQL service. To enable the binary logging, we need to modify the configuration file. Uh, on this virtual machine, uh, my configuration file is located at the etc 
my dot cnf dot d is under this pass the this is the configuration for file for the my circle server so i just uh, edit it using vi by adding these four lines into this file the binary log is enabled first of all the it gives the binary log uh, file name and uh, the form binary log format and uh, here the server id you need to set it to any value uh, greater than greater than one and also for the binary row image um, if your if your my circle database is uh, the version of your my circle database is greater than five point uh, five point six you need to have this line now uh, let's restart my circle service Okay, the service gets started. Now let's configure the VPN to allow DTS server to access the MySQL database. The CIDR block of the DTS server can be found on this page. It is in located in the DTS official document center. So let's find out the address. First of all, data migration and uh, we we want to use the dts service on uh, in singapore region okay here uh, and uh, and uh, this 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 column is the address for the is a ip range for the uh, vpn gateway so we this is the one we are going to use let's copy it and now let's go to the VPN. This is the IPsec VPN I already set up to connect the Azure Virtual Machine and the, the uh, and the VPC. Now I just need to add a new local network address. Copy and paste. And also open the advanced configuration and make sure that the version is ikev2 so this is important okay not uh, not only in ali cloud console i also need to set up the azure site of the vpn here is the local network gateway on Microsoft Azure and uh, I click configuration and I add the new range here and uh, save so by doing this both Microsoft si uh, Azure side and the Ali cloud side has this uh, has this IP range Okay, it says uh, successfully configured. Now let's move to the RDS on Alibaba Cloud. Uh, I already created an RDS instance um, inside the VPC, which uh, the VPN is located. So I want to create a new one. And also I already created a privileged account admin one uh, for this migration also 
there is no database inside this RDS instance right now. A very important step is that you need to add the the CIDR block of the DTS uh, into the whitelist of this RDS. So here it is. Now we have everything ready. So let's create a data migration job in the DTS. Let's go to DTS. Click the data migration menu. Make sure you choose the correct region. Click create migration task. You can give uh, any task name. And here is the source database. You need to, let me change the, uh, the source type to this one. User created a database connected over Express Connect VPN gateway or smart access gateway. We are using a VPN gateway. And the region is Singapore peer VPC. That's, uh, this is the one uh, we are using to, uh, in the VPN. IP address. Here the IP address is the in intranet IP address. So the IP address is this one. The port uh, is the default port. Database account, uh, we just created migration admin, password, password, test. It passed. So the connectivity is uh, succeed, uh, succeeded. Now let's choose the destination database. It is the RDS instance. The instance type is RDS instance and uh, the region is Singapore. And let's select the one. Ah, this is the one. And uh, the database account is admin one. Database password. Also passed. Now let's click the set whitelist and next. Okay, now here you can see it lists all the available tables, uh, databases, and the tables, and also the uh, it gives the migration types schema migration, full data migration, and the incremental data migration. This is our first time to migrate this uh, test DB and uh, this table. We have a table called PET. So we just choose uh, schema migration and also full data migration. Let's click on the PET and uh, select it. Let's see what is in the pet uh, table right now. So we can see there are uh, there is only one record in the pet uh, pet table. Okay. Here is the change mapped name. Uh, since this is the uh, first time we do migration, we do not need to change the database name and the table name. We just uh, select this one and uh, start pre-check.
yeah the pre-check is passed you can see it checks all of these items okay next we choose uh, what kind of uh, the specification of the migration channel so different uh, different specification has different price so we just use uh, a media one okay the status become to migrating let's just uh, refresh and uh, see uh, view details okay it seems the it is still uh, initiating oh okay the schema migration is completed and the next step is the full data migration it's not yet st uh, not started it's just a uh, Keep waiting. The status is still running. Okay, the full data migration is also completed. Task log. Start successful. Create is successful. Okay, the status become to completed. Now let's uh, log in to this RDS, uh, this RDS database and uh, check the data. Now let's move to the RDS instance to, uh, to validate the migration task result. Um, let's log on to the DB using DMS. Uh, from the RDS console, we can see that uh, a database, same name, the test DB, is already created. And uh, okay, in the test DB, uh, it has a table path. Let's see what it has. Okay, it's uh, it's uh, exactly the same data in the source uh, database. So it means that the, both the schema and the full data are uh, migrated to from the uh, from the self created database to the AliCloud uh, RDS database. This is the end of the demo. If you have any questions, feel free to send me email. Thank you. Bye.